so pretty. <laughs> Hello, little tight weavers. I bought some new games while I was uh, doing stuff. So don't worry, Undertale's not going to be alone, but I'm going to be switching between two games. Um, they're very new, by the way. Uh, today we're starting off with Stardew Valley. Because, trust me, it will be like forever and everything like that. Uh, are we serious now? Okay. Here we go. Yay! Starting a new game. We are female. Ah. Uh, let's see. I like it. It's cute. Yeah, kind of pale. Here's 17. Haha, <laughs> that's me. on me like that? God, really? <sighs> One second, hold on. So it took a bit. I decided to do it on my own. And uh, I've already made a decision of doing this. <laughs> this, I was gonna look for a pair of glasses for her, but it just, it doesn't really work on here. So pretend that she has a pair of glasses and it's invisible. And uh, I gave her a purple shirt. I don't think it's the right shirt that I was looking for before. By God, you can tell it's so busty. Here we go. That's the one I was trying to look for. Lavender. Don't you dare say it's pink. It's lavender. Well, pink doesn't exist. Those who do love pink, it's a light shade of red. Just say that. Fifty shades of. But, yeah, so I made her eyes very light, because Mina's eyes are like that, so I, yeah, and her hair is short. And the reason why I chose Kinkaku Farm is because, I don't know, Grandpa left it to me, I don't know. I, I'm not sure, I just, I just thought that would be pretty good. I chose, I didn't choose the animal, but I'm thinking, you know, I'm just gonna... Dogs are usually worth it. Um, maybe another time with a cat. Bastion I'm always having with me. This be ribbon. And I decided on the uh, river farm because, well, if we get a bigger one, the bigger land, it's gonna take forever. So yeah, so I decided the river one. Also, mom keeps texting me. I know. Sleepy time. And for my old special grandfather or granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. It's purple. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Ooh, I love patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And 
your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Oh, now let Grandpa rest. Ten years later! Or twenty years later. What the frick? Jaja, -ja. join us, thrive, work! Is that Woody licking his lips or something? Ugh. That's me! Life's better with Jaja! Jaja! Huh? A pretty purple envelope! Dear Mina, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The time the same thing happened to me long ago, I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belonged. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Kinkaku Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, in the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Louis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? It is time. The adventure calls. Adventure! That's pretty. Stardew. Half a mile. Hello, you must be Mina. Hi, Robin. I'm Robin, the local ca carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for you for your arrival. Don't do that, controller. Yay! Are we having difficulty again with this thing? The farm's right over here, if you follow me. Uh... If I can, give me a moment. Okay. Yay! So pretty, Paul. Wait a minute! This is Kinkaku Farm. Uh... Didn't you promise me that I would have a, uh... Awesome place? No! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there is there's some good soil. There's some good soil underneath this that mess. With a little decoration, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Guess I have a lot of work on my free time. So then, when we're not when I'm not playing this, I'll be playing this. And here we are, your new home. Uh, the new farmer! Ah, the new farmer. Hello. Welcome, I'm Louis, mayor of the... Uh, mayor of Pelican Town. Oh, that was start. Oh. You know, everyone's been asking about you. 
It's not every day that someone you lose in gets quite a big deal. Okay. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. That's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little bit more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Mina. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'd buy one of her, her house upgrades. Planning on it! Hmm. One day. Anyway, you must be tired from the long from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Aww. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. You keep texting me. So you weren't Emily or Emily. We have a we used to have a chicken that was named Emily, and she'd pretty much act like a rooster. I'm going back to bed. No. But I like that. You can go all the way in. Well report. I always watch her read the report. Welcome to Co's K O Z V. Our number one service for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. Hey! It's going to be clear and sunny dull day. Spring! Keep that off. Yay! I got some goodies. We received 15 tur parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Lewis. What? Why? to do, but... What's wrong? 
Ugh, the bus to Delco's desert is out of service. I don't want to go to the desert. But that looks like something good. A leak! I'll grow that in my end fine. No, I have to sell it. I have a feeling. This is like a... what is it called? Harvest Moon. I love Harvest Moon. I heard Markiplier loved Harvest Moon so much and I'm going... We gotta join forces together. I need to hear, hear your tips. Because, oh my god, I love Harvest Moon so much. Is, but I'm gonna start up here. It's a playground! That's so cute. It's locked! No! What's up here? Hey there! Ah, uh, no thank you. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Obviously, you can tell. Who's this guy? Oh, the girl! Mabu. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Mo. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Ah, oh, there's another way. You're not good enough to be friends with Sebastian to earn to enter his bedroom. Aww. Greetings. I'm. I cannot pronounce your name, darling. Local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Ah, you're married. That was you. Now we're going searching to find some other things to do and who else. I swear to God, this is like Harvest Moon related stuff. Whoa, what is that? That is cool. I also heard rumors that there's a wizard, or witch, here. Hello? 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 There's nothing up here. I have to go back down. <sighs> Good for the adventure, though. What is that? Hey! This is my house! What the frick? Small world! I wish I can go faster, but I can't. I do the instruction stuff. Go away! Cultivate and harvest and perks. I'll do that in just a moment. I have the whole day. Hello? Knock knock. Oh. Doctor! I got the 
this problem on the- Whoa, hi! Hi! Come here! Hello! Hello, you must be Mina, the new farmer. I am Caroline. Hello? So today's spring! Oh my god! It's a harvest moon thing! Lewis's birthday is on the 7th. Haley's birthday... Holly... I can't pronounce it. Egg Festival! Vincent! Pam's birthday. Shane's... Oh god, tough guy. Pierre. Emily! Flower dance! Rick. Hello! Oh, hi, Leah! Hello, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too! Thank you, but... Hello! It's... It's Miss Mina! No, 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 no. It's just Mina. A new farmer, I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. Oh. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. I hope so. Anybody else that any would like to meet? Aww. Who do you worship? The outsider? If you do, you're my best friend. If you're not, then... I have no idea what to say. I got stuff to do. Places to go. Ah. There must be other stuff here. And stuff. Hello? Girl, Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone was new. Someone new was moving into that old farm. You're smaller than me. You look like a kid. Huh. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> okay. He's in a wheelchair. Exercising. It's a dog! It's a salon or a saloon. Welcome! At least you're kind. You look like the Duke from Dishonored 2 for some reason. <laughs> well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Star Drop Saloon. Hey, can I say hi? Emily. Oh, I can remember. I can- oh, I can read it in your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. We're here. Anyways, once I'm done with the day, then we'll continue on. Probably. What the fuck? I'm discovering these new menus that I've never seen before! And crafting? Shit! Hey kid, the name's Pam. 
Okay, hi. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Hey. It's kind of creepy. All this trash all over the place. I wish I could... Hey, I want to pick it up. Hello? Nobody home? Shane. Oh, God. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I'm just being nice! Why are there so many mean people? Good evening! So, your first night in the old cottage. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're the mayor! Hi, Penny. You know, with a small town like this, a new face really al alter the community d dynamic is ex exciting. You guys look like kids. I swear. Can I have the? I just realized something too. Next episode, my apologies. It's gonna be over here. Because I screwed up. So you guys can be able to see what's going on over there. Hello! No, don't go away from me. Oh, you're that new farmer girl. Or whatever, aren't you? Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yes, I'm the scariest stranger of them all. Oh dear. He's got better grades than I do. Or did. So it's night time right now. It's locked open from the oh. Maybe tomorrow I'll just go check it out and see if I can meet some more people. See how exhausting I'll get. Wait. It's a hoe. There we go. What is that? Ah, bananas. Looks like you'll need to upgrade pickaxe to destroy this dense stone. Okay. I'm surprised I'm not getting tired after quickly. Usually the game just gets me tired so fast. But yeah, it explains a few things that... At 
least the thing doesn't go down too fast. I'm going to sleep. If I can. By the way, where am I? Time. Yes, so I'm sleeping for the night and the progress has been saved and well what? Alrighty, I'm gonna leave the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stardew Valley, even though I was just trying to figure out what to do. I'm going to get back to you and the whole farm is going to look a lot better. So Thank you guys for joining me on this wonderful episode of newbies and stuff like that. Please leave a like and a comment down below on what you think. So maybe next week we'll come back to it, but the next time I play this, it's, actually it's going to be something else. It's going to be like a little bit longer than everything else because it's a longer game and everything. So thank you guys for joining me. Please leave a like and a comment down below on what you think. I hope you're having a fantastic day because I am keep on dreaming because one day your dreams will come true. Kisses, Pegasus, <laughs> and let us hang out in the next episode. <laughs>